Hi guys, welcome back to Tracy's Allotment. So today we're going to be making pickle lily. Got a few ingredients here from the plot. Um, we've got cauliflower, a couple of onions, some green beans. We've got a couple of courgettes as well that's from the plot. These are yellow, you can use green if you like. And um, we've got a range of spices um, to put in as well. So, let's get started. So first off, we're going to have a big um, bowl. So we're going to put all of our vegetables in there eventually. So we're going to start off with the green beans and we're going to do top and tail. That's what I call top and tails, take the top off. And we're just going to cut these into chunks, about an inch um, or so, or however you like them. Um, but I'm going to do them about an inch. So we'll get all of these cut up into nice chunks. Again, personal preference. You can just do it however you like. And that's all them chopped up there nicely. So we're going to start with the courgette next. So I'll give that a bit of a wash. As I say, it's from the allotment. So I'm just going to cut these into rounds, into like discs. Um, again, top and tail. And then what I take off the top and tail, um, I'll give to the hens. So I'm just going to cut these about half an inch thick rounds. Um, and just cut them up and we'll dice into nice little chunks for um, our piccalilli mixture. So you can see here that I've cut them into chunks. Um, personally, if you want to leave them like that, you can, but I don't, I think they're going to be too big for our liking. So I'm just going to quarter them again, as you can see. Just chop them up nicely. Because we're not going to be boiling the mixture or anything. So the vegetables are going to pretty much stay the size that we are going to cut them. So I'm going to make it look a little bit as though we're cutting a pizza. <laughs> and then we'll just break them free. And have them all individual. And we'll continue doing that for the rest of the courgettes. So once they're all done. Give them a mix so that your beans and your courgettes are incorporated um, and they're nice and evenly distributed. So the next thing that we're going to work on is the onion. And again, just cut this to choice, um, you know, the size that you like. Um, because these are, this, they're not going to boil away or get boiled down or anything like that. How you cut them is basically how it's going to stay. So... These again are the onions from the plot that we've grown ourselves. So just take any hard skin or any of the neck area off and just cut them to the size of how you want and just mix them in and get them incorporated into the bowl with your green beans and courgette like so. And again, give them a good mix just to evenly distribute um, the vegetables in there. So next up, what we're going to do is the cauliflower. So we're going to take the leaves off the cauliflower first and we're going to chop it up. Just again, personal preference on size, guys. Just I just cut the, the sort of the neck, the hard bit out and then just snap them off. And then just cut them to how big that we want them. And I do take a little bit of the stalk off again. That is personal preference if you want to take the stalk off. Um, but I have because they're the sort of harder harder bits really. And again, we're just going to put them all into our big bowl um, along with the beans, the onions and the courgettes and just give them one big mix so that again, everything's evenly distributed um, throughout the bowl and you'll see why in the upcoming steps. If you do see any bits that look a bit big, Feel free to take them out and cut them down. It's very rough and ready, this recipe. So the next step, what we're going to do is two tablespoons of salt. So we're just going to sprinkle that in. And what that does, it brines the vegetables and gets 
all the excess water out so I'm going to give that a bit of a stir and what we're going to do is we're going to leave this for two hours and once um, the two hours are up we're just going to drain the water off you don't need to rinse the vegetables or anything just drain it off and what we've got here is our mixed spices we've got some flour and some sugar and we've also got um, some malt vinegar as well there and what we're going to do now is we're going to sort of make the piccalilli sauce if you like so we're going to start off by putting the malt vinegar into the pan over a low heat we're going to add our sugar into there and then we're going to add our spices in as well I'll give my spices a little bit of a mix, but generally it doesn't matter. And last but not least, we're going to add our flour. And what I do, guys, I use a whisk. Um, so I just literally whisk it all up so that all of the lumps of the flour and things like that um, break down. And then just over a low heat, bring it to a simmer and then to a boil and stirring as you go because there is sugar in there that you know we don't want to it to stick so as this process happens you should see the mixture sort of change in colour um, more of a sort of curry kind of colour um, and also you should see the texture of it thickening as well you do want it quite a thick sauce you might find that um, it doesn't thick as thicken as you like so what you can add you can add a corn, what I call a corn flour slurry into there which is just basically a couple of tablespoons of corn flour with some added water in and you, you can just pour that in and you almost see it thicken instantly as you will see coming up now so you can see there I'm just putting a little bit of the corn starch mix in and as soon as you start to stir it just almost instantly thickens your sauce it's a really good, good way of getting it thickened up. Just make sure we give it a good mix so that everything's incorporated properly and nice. Yeah, and so now it's nice and thick. What we're going to do is we're going to add our vegetables. Now, bearing in mind that would have had excess water in that I've previously drained off. Didn't need to rinse the vegetables or anything because the salt will just add into the flavour um, of the whole piccalilli um, concoction. So, yeah, so just make sure that all of your vegetables in there and give it a good mix so that everything is coated and nicely covered and the heat is off at this stage guys the the heat's off so this i am just adding the vegetables to the the hot liquid sauce and once that's nicely incorporated i've um already sterilized my jars so hot soapy water and then i put them in the oven to um sort of dry out and heat through so make sure that your jars are sterilised, what you are putting your mixture in. I tend to use a jug and just tip them in um, because the vegetables tend to be a bit big for a funnel. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to fill our jars using the jug, getting some of the sauce mixture in as well along the way. You might need to get a bit of a spoon or something just to pat it down um, to make sure that you get as much of the pickle lily in the jars as possible now this mixture that i did it's made those four jars that you see in the picture there and then a small one as well so it, there is quite um a sub substantial amount being made there again i give this out to friends and family and things and it's a great way of preserving things from our allotment plot that um you know might get wasted if we didn't preserve any other way so yeah so we're just going to fill them up and again i sterilize the lids of the um jars as well um, i just tip some boiling hot water onto them out of the kettle and um sometimes i put them in the oven as well or i just leave them to to air dry once i tip the boiling water off them that's a good way of sterilizing your lids as well
This mixture will be need to be left in the jar for about four weeks and then it'll be ready to eat. Once um, opened, keep in the fridge and I think it'll store for, well for at least four weeks after that. So enjoy guys, any questions leave them in the comments.